Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is your girl TM, and I'm back with another Opika card reading. So tonight is weekend, and I definitely want to do you versus them, no contact, current feelings of your partner. What's going on with your partner uh, emotionally, physically, mentally, and spiritually? Obviously, we want to know that, what's going on with our partner. It's a least contact or maybe a no contact situation here. So I will definitely channel up their uh, reading, their message, uh, what they have to say, what's going on with them, what they... What do they feel about you? What do they think about you? Everything all about between you and this person, okay? So keep in mind this is a general reading. As I always say, take what only resonates with you. If it's not, please let it go. Um, and this reading is not for you. This uh, maybe situation is not for you, maybe, okay? It does not have to be. It should be like you because it's a general reading. Um, also, I will use uh, my handmade messages, okay, to channel the message of this person, what they have to say in each pile. I will also use the charms. I will also use the tarot uh, to see what this person's next action is in front of you. These are oracles cards. I will channel up this person message and everything all about you. So choose intuitively whatever the pile or option is calling you. Group number one is an elephant. I'm using this twice my today. So this is option number one, try. Elephant. Option number two is a frog. And this is option number three, the kitty. The orange kitty. Uh, I our puppy. I don't know what is this. It looks like a cat, but yeah, it looks like a cat. Okay, not a puppy. Okay, whatever. So, <laughs> so you choose intuitively. I will see you and meet you on your reading. You can also come to me for personal reading if you want. You check out the description box for all the detail. Um, and also, I want to say uh, that a lot of people are approaching me for personal readings, um, and. Uh, just be patient with me because I already have a lot of books reading. So uh, or everything is mentioned already, like turnaround time and everything all. So um, if you're interested, you can contact me on my email address. Um, but if you can't, take, obviously, there's a lot of uh, very genius and very uh, expert users out there. You can book anything from them. Because I, when I just tell them that I'm not available or something like that, these bitches start barking. And uh, they're just like, who are you? Your English is OK. Your English is like blah, blah. I, I know that these people are listening to me. So let me tell you, if you have any problems or things with me, then why you come to me, first of all? Okay? If you see that I'm not, uh, I'm just uh, um, out of your reach or out of your, I'm not your standards type of reader, then why you approach me? The first thing is here. I really want to ask from these bitches and these peoples. They come only for barking and they only come to test my patience and that's it. So I definitely don't want to deal with these people's negative energies and everything all. I don't care what, how much money you are giving to me. I don't care about money. I just really protective of my energy, okay? I just give the middle finger to your uh, money, okay? So yeah, just take your money and go take your ass somewhere else because definitely I'm not the person that accept the bullshit or whatever you will say and I will be like, okay, fine, oh my God. Your English is not good, you're, you're just okay, you are just um, rude and I don't know, the, all the bullshit I just hear from these peoples. Uh, when the reading did not come to according they want to listen because definitely I have to read it as I, because a lot of people know me that I just bluntly and straightforwardly tell it what it is. I will not please you that, hey, you are gonna marry this person. No, when you're not, when cards are not saying to me, then obviously I will not. So they definitely then slash it out on me. Go and find a, basically a proper guy or man, okay, to live with you, live with your bullshit, okay, basically. So yeah, so let's start the reading now. Hey, pile number one, group number one, the people who choose this little elephant. I feel some of you maybe have a child with this person, you have a baby with this person, or maybe this person has a children, okay? Like there's something about the babies here, children involved here. Or maybe you know this, you know this person from a childhood or something like you, you feel some childhood memories with this person. I don't know, but there's, or maybe you share some secrets or some type of feelings about your childhood traumas or something. Or maybe this person is triggering your childhood trauma. There's something about the childhood here I'm, I'm seeing from this person energy. So we have the Rainbow Reviver. I definitely will not read up reversals. We have Rainbow Reviver. Then we have Soulmates. Yeah. Yeah, the, I, I feel that you, you may be past life Soulmates. We have Inner Peace. Look at this again. I'm seeing the synchronicities. Look at this. Two fishes here. Okay. Two fishes. So maybe you both are Pisces. We have Passion Ignite. Ace of Wands. Aries Leo Sag. 
we have suffering in silence number nine so pay attention to the numbers one nine life path numbers maybe or something we have solar plexus chakra number three for emotions we have the shy yeah look at this something related with a childhood again i'm seeing the baby here maybe something happened with this person childhood okay so we have the shy we have regretful mm. oh girl look at this the mama and baby child childhood mother and child issues here okay so we have the girl talk we have love call okay keep going we have the energy is gaining momentum waxing moon we have eternal flame we have passion oh my god you both could be fire sign or this person could be aries leo sag healing family issues yeah it is i can say it don't stop so this person has family issues this person has a childhood trauma or maybe this person is definitely right now is currently you know stuck in some type of family issues maybe this person has already a family child custody of a child responsibility of a child you know some something related with his ex-wife or partner um there's something happened with this person's childhood or there's something going on like a family dynamic here i'm seeing here strongly this could be you like you have a family with this person like you have a child with this person you have a baby with this person and there's a lot of issues going on between you and this person back and forth so this could be your husband ex-partner ex ex boyfriend that you have a baby with if it's not you if you don't have a baby this person has literally childhood trauma or some family issues right now going on that you don't know about it and your connection is definitely triggering this person in this situation for some of you you know it some of you not because this connection is very passionate very intense with you so it's really triggering a lot of things when connection is very intense because this i feel that you both are soulmates so eternal flame and soulmates you are soulmates and this connection is very passionate very intense for this person to you know work on this especially i'm seeing masculine uh, it could be the joy energy too if you're a female and you are carrying masculine energy also i feel that for some of you you could be from rainbow tribe you know lgbt community or something the rainbow reviver i feel that you need to let go of uh, your your if you have a childhood trauma with this person or some type of issues because i'm seeing feminine need to let go feminine need to surrender feminine need to hear uh, to accept what it is because i'm seeing with the soulmates and internal eternal flame no nobody can you know break your bond with each other because the love is very very powerful and strong and the passion and the love between you and this person is too much to handle it so some of you may be from different ethnicity or race or culture religion okay because i'm seeing black and white or maybe tan skin of this person no judgment here okay so we have the inner peace here so definitely this connection is really i feel that moving toward inner peace okay i feel that feminine need to find inner peace when you will find it this person will definitely automatically f will follow you i feel that they, that you're telepathically connection connecting with each other you both could be water sign or you both could be fire sign i'm picking up here especially this is for some peoples it is leo sag sun moon rising venus or this could be um well, you both could be water sign pisces cancer scorpio that what i'm picking up here there's something here that um about your your signs that is similar we have the passion ignite this person has a lot of feelings for you a lot of passion for you you maybe have a child with this person that's why this person never and can't let you go um i'm also seeing this is like a ace of wands you can see that this this circle here so this person is feeling it this person's heart chakra is opening again this person feeling this love this is like a new beginning for this person this person could have a blonde hair or black hair but long hair i'm seeing long hair this person has a long hair like you know like shoulder shoulder long hair um we have this suffering in silence nine of swords so this this could be your energy because i'm seeing feminine is really suffering in silence you need to find your inner peace especially you feminine if you're a feminine energy watching this video i'm not saying male or female so i'm seeing that feminine need to work on your 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 peace your you need to let go this person will be back you will be come into union i feel here because the energy is gaining momentum this person loves you this person will be back no matter what because they're telling you don't stop don't stop for this person don't wait and you know making uh, things like you will never be together and it's like negative thinking negative energy making you realize that you will not be together no it's not relax i feel they're telling you that you need to focus on yourself your inner peace your 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 creativity because we have the passion ignite you need to find your own passion because this person will be there for you no matter what because you are soulmates okay 
I'm seeing solar plexus chakra. Yeah, there's something talking about three is like communication. Like you need to communicate with your angels, with your guides. What are you looking for? You need to also connect with your mind, body, soul. That's what the inner peace is. You need to find your own inner peace. Or maybe this person is right now. Their solar plexus chakra is opening. Finally, they're ready to talk with you. Finally, they're feeling it. They're feeling this urge to talk with you. They're also coming into this, this awakening like, what do they want right now? This is really, I, this person is going through a very intense transformation because I'm seeing here, they're, like there's something here definitely making this person to heal this issue. They can't let go, they can't run away from this. And they're healing it. So some of you, this may maybe, uh, you know, maybe you are the baby mama, like single parent, so maybe this one, that's why this person is a shy to come towards you because they feel like maybe you will regret them. You will, uh, you, uh, I don't know, but there's something here this person is regretting. Regretting about you, about their, about their child, uh, with you or... Overall, uh, this could be their childhood. Definitely family issues going on here. I'm seeing this person is going to call you very soon because I'm seeing a love call here. This person is, like energy is gaining momentum in this solar plexus chakra. They're ready to talk with you. They're ready to talk about their truth, their feelings, because it's like a new beginning for them. But feminine work here is to keep, keep don't stop. Just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Don't look at when this will happen, when this asking the question and suffering in silence. No, you're not, because you're going to be together. This person, you will receive the call from this person. You will receive the uh, communication from this person. So girl talk. So this could be talking about like you need to talk with your girls. Anybody can help you or guide you. So let me uh, see what, what the, this person's next move towards you. What is the next move towards you of this person? The group number one. Okay, we have the three of wands reverse. Yeah, this person is right now not ready. This could be um, a distance between you and this person. I don't know what type of distance, long distance or physical or emotional. Three of wands reverse here. I feel that some of you, you maybe give up hope on this person like you can come together or not. So we have king of pentacles. Yeah, this person is working on their money, finances. Solar plexus chars are also talking about they're, they're definitely trying to organize and managing their life. So some of you, this could be like, yeah, look at this. They have already child with the Page of Cups and King of Pentacles. They could be going through some ch child uh, custody or something right now. Because I'm seeing finances here or could be family issues, definitely. I'm seeing this person is right now not ready to open up about their feelings because they're going through this intense uh, awakening, this intense uh, transformation in their life. One more. Yeah, strength. Yeah, you have to be patient because I'm seeing that this could be Leo, Earth sign, Fire sign, or Water sign. Everything is here. But especially we have Leo. So strength. You have to be patient. Because I feel that this person is coming to you very soon. Four of Cups. You may be disappointed. Like, no, it's not going to happen. So some of you definitely third party situation here. So let me see this person's message towards you. What this person has to say to you, my group number one. You have to be patient. You will be together. This person will definitely approach you and you will be together. Because I'm seeing here strength is talking about... Strength is about you, especially feminine, okay? Because I'm seeing that you have to be patient. Let's see the messages of this person. So, synchronicities, as names, signs, symbols, songs, dreams. Yeah, everything is reminding you of this person. Or this person, whenever you see the same thing, it's, it's remind you of you. I'm planning to be committed and getting married with you. Yeah, this person will come. King of Pentacles is a committed partner. Don't hate me for what... For what I did, I am heartbroken. It's different to open my heart again. Yeah. So they could be going through some third party situation or childhood trauma. Some of you, they were heartbroken before. Like someone cheated on to them or something. So that's why they're having a difficult time to trust you. There's something about this person's heart chakra here. They need to open up. I'm so nervous, hesitant to make a move. Yeah. 24-7 thinking about you. I want you so bad. Then we have feelings for you is very intense. I can't deal with this. I need some time. Yeah, this is very intense connection for some of you. Very intense for this person at least, okay? Now let's see what Charm has to say for group number one. Okay, so we have S. We have crazy. I feel this person is going crazy right now. They don't know what to do, what to not. Um, they're being patient, they're being positive with, a, with this yellow stone here. I'm seeing fixing a heart. Yeah, this person is definitely fixing a heart. Some of you, they are, they are, they're drinking, okay? They could be have a drinking, 
yeah they, they could be alcoholic they could be drinking they could be trying to fix their heart by drinking i believe so i feel this is for feminine you need to believe that on this connection we have this house family definitely family issues here or it could be finances we have this red here red stone so this is definitely be, uh, you know sacral chakra they're working on their money they're working on something we have this crown here so opening the heart opening their crown chakra they really need to because i'm seeing yin and yang look at this you could be soulmates definitely opposites attracts again it's like uh you mean to be together it's a balance of uh, feminine and uh, masculine we have the butterfly transformation we have this this um grapes here so if this person is really really attractive to you physically for some of you it could be a physical connection i'm seeing pisces here i'm seeing maybe this person is a doctor you may be nursing or something because this is here but i'm also seeing that like this person is healing their heart because this is the stethoscope and with the heart so we have this two of wands okay and we have uh, eight of wands so this is me talking about like things are really moving forward eight of wands they really are passionate about you they want to choose you and they will choose you okay we have the crown again so this person i feel that you both need to open your chakra look at this crown again so there's definitely something I, i feel that your intuitions are already telling you that this person is coming i have the dog so maybe this person has a dog so i feel that if this person has a dog it's really expensive like very mm, i don't know like very very expensive dog like very rare breed of the dog this person had it okay so we have the star here starfish so going with the flow okay uh, i'm also seeing this could be talking we have the two uh, two fishes here okay so definitely you both could be pisces this could be like you have children together or maybe separately and coming together uh what is this we have made with love so yeah this person really want to love with you we have this key here so yeah things are really opening very soon between you and this person unlock the door and something uh i also see the full leaf clover here so this is talking about positivity new beginning between you and this person so yeah i feel that you need to wait for this person until this person will come towards you as i'm also seeing umbrella here so this is talking about uh you know like this umbrella is talking about like the i feel that the worst is over or getting over you will be together into union okay it's only the matter of time when this person is ready to open up and being with you because um they're going through intense transformation i feel here because we have the butterfly this is also talking about transformation okay so this is your reading give the thumbs up i will see you in the next video bye hello group number 2 the people who choose frog let's see what's going on with your person i feel this person is putting the fake smile on their face like they're happy but they're not yeah they may be showing you like everything is fine everything is good but they're hurting i definitely i when i see this smile i was like no it's not real sexual freedom so this person is feeling sexually towards you i'm also seeing like they really want to do something with you okay i also feel this person was sexually abused for some of you in the past or in a previous relationships maturity yeah they could be younger than you or they could be whatever they are but they're becoming mature about this connection they're learning focus yeah i also feel this person could believe in the areas where snow falling and cold weather is there especially snowfall and snow there okay we have the deception and in way okay number 7 love begins is of cups yeah this is something new that this person never experienced i feel here this is is of cups it's a spiritual love uh emotional withdrawal eight of cups so a lot of water here pisces cancer scorpio we have gemini libra aquarius as for this person emotions we have grateful we have respectful we have kisses falling in love our unconditional love the snake competition enemy clever um the other woman may be involved here we have look at the bigger picture full moon in sagittarius so there could be something related with the sagittarius i also feel that upcoming sagittarius season is very important for you because november and december especially we have spiritual growth yeah this is a spiritual connection with this person true love this is a romance of a lifetime ah oh. free yourself surrender to the divine i know people just when see this card they're like oh my god reconsider <clears throat> so let me tell you 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 met this person okay you offered the love to this person but they were deceptive 
they were closed off emotionally. So you withdrawn from this person emotionally. Or this could be vice versa. Like they withdrawn from you or you withdrawn from them. If they approach you, you now maybe you're regretting it and you want to go back to this person again. You're reconsidering the thinking, the past, the relationship with this person. Or this could be vice versa. If they were deceptive and they were not opening up to you, they, they were, I feel that they were not communicative at all. They did not, they never expressed their feelings to you or they only give you the, this, this like flirting and everything all, but they never expressed that they love you. So now they, this person is falling in love because we have the love begins and kisses. It's look like this person is falling in love. They're ready to be with you. They're ready to think about that. You have a, you know, they're seeing you in a different perspective, even though Hangman is not here, but I feel here, they're seeing the situation, the past and love with you is in a different perspective. Because I feel that either this person was with someone else, okay, with a snake here. So this person was with someone else, okay. They were dealing with someone else that you don't know because it was an enemy or something hidden or competition because there was a lot of people, you know, manipulating this person or this person was a manipulator, like they manipulate you in some ways, like they never expressed it because I'm seeing the mask here and snake. There was definitely something here, like you see this person like this person um, never loved you or something. So you emotionally withdrawn this with this person, but now this person's focus is all about you. They're reconsidering, they're thinking about you in this connection. Even though they have a choices or competition, they still will choose you, I feel here. Because look at the bigger picture. What I told you, they are seeing now this situation and this relationship with you with a different perspective, with a, with a different, um, I don't know, this person is falling in love. They, they maybe was looking at you at, the, at this all pe a period. I feel that they were observing you. At the f when you were not there, you just withdrawn from them. They, they felt like there is no one but you were their, their real friend. Because I feel that the people around them is very manipulative snakes okay like they they never saw their true faces but you withdrawn with them or maybe you told this person already like this friend is not good or this pe this person is not good or maybe this person was with someone you know with another woman she was just you know saying this person like i love you i have been in love with your feelings and you know but that person was just a snake so now they realized after when you withdrawn they felt like you were the one you were the right there's something here this person messed up or fucked up they maybe choose someone else on you because their intentions, because they thought you were the snake. Your intentions are not right for them. But now when you view you withdrawn or you are not in separation, they're reconsidering what happened. So there's something happened in their life. Something happened. They definitely saw someone's true face around them. And also your, 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 your feeling. And now they're very grateful and respectful for you. Like you told them that this person is not right and they, they have a lot of respect and grateful that you you are the right person. I don't know, there's just some type of sense of respect and sense of love here, that true love, they're feeling this true love, they never experienced this true love. Look at this, what I told you, it's a true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. You see maybe this person as your soulmate, twin flame, but I feel that the, why when I see these people just get out or free yourself, it means surrender to the divine. Because you may be limited of the thoughts like, no, it, it will never happen. I, I don't, I'm not going back to this person again. Because you withdrawn. This person hurt you. This person treated you not well. But they will. It's a spiritual growth. This person was immature. They're learning now. They're mature. Wow, this is very beautiful. This is very sweet. Like they're learning their, their mistakes. They're learning from their mistakes. They were immature. They know that. The way they treated you, they were immature. They know that. They're, they're recognizing their effort, mistakes. They're sorry, they're regretting it. They're spiritually growing up. Or your connection maybe teach them how to be true. Who is the true person for them? Who is, what is true love? You know, maybe they always experience sexual uh, relationship. They may be always playing around. They may be what a player, okay? Because we have the seven of uh, swords here, deception in a way. They never experience this love with anyone. But you, you definitely something with you happened like this person is reconsidering their mistakes, their past, what they did, and everything all. And they're focused on that, very focused on this situation to change and to be with you. Now let's see what is the next action of this person. This person is in love with you, okay? Falling in love. Like they really is in love with you. And this is a true love. This is true love. There's something about this person around people. They're snakes. I don't know. Their energy, their, their something. Or this person... Um, They now know that, what they did. Snake is also talk about sometime sexual connection. So maybe they were with you in a, only a sexual base, but now they're falling in love. Or they are in love, or some of you, this could be, they have some sexual 
cheating on you with someone else like they slept with someone else because i'm not feeling good with the snake vibes here obviously whenever i see the snake i like oh my god what the hell is there but it's a temptation maybe maybe it, it was just um a mask for some of you so we have three of cups yes there is strongly third party situation i see friends here i see involvement of friends they were snakes their friends, their their social circle. Are uh, they maybe their friends tell them to do that or something? This could be talking about like something happened in your friend circle or this person. Page of Cups, yeah. They really want to send you a message, genuine message. I'm hearing. So there could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They they does not have to be, but I feel that they're not feeling like and behaving like a water sign. They're feeling so sensitive. They're their emotions. Yeah, the justice rewards, definitely. Libra, it's injustice with you. They know that they did wrong to you. This person knows that they did wrong to you. They know that. It's just they, until they will not say you, say you sorry, or offer you this love, or to be with you, or communicate with you, not talk about this situation, it will not over. Justice will not be served. You deserve justice. I don't know, vice versa. If you did this, to, maybe you're feeling regretful. And you really want to contact this person. So why are you waiting? Go and talk to this person. Six of Pentacles, yes. Equal give and take. They really want to, you know, give you now. They did not give you attention, maybe. Earth sign, okay? They really want equal give and take. They really want to talk with you. For some of you, it was only one-sided efforts. So now they really want to put the equal effort. Seven of Pentacles, you are, yeah. This per maybe you are impatient or they are. Uh, this could be happened just too much like early and they just they're not feeling it like what happened the emperor divorce yeah there's something here that this person was not in their power hmm. they were not honest with you they were controlling they were closed off closed off i'm hearing closed off emotionally oh my god look at this what happened it's a mess okay so look at this person does not know what to tell you <laughs> Okay, I got it. This person does not know how to say something to you. They're feeling it. This situation is out of my control. Yeah. I'm so in love with you. Oh, God, boy. I will talk to you very soon. They are coming. They are coming. I can see my future with you. There's something happened, like you told this person, or you were right. Like they feel it. They're feeling it like you were right. Your intentions were right. I don't know what happened with this person. Like they, they I can feel this person energy. They're not, they're not happy. They are, I told you in the beginning, this person is putting the fake smile. They're not happy. They know that karma will get them. Or maybe already getting them, I know. I wish I could treated you better. You deserve more love. Yes. What I told you. Preparing a surprise for you. I don't know. Surprise for you or surprise for this person. But, but I don't know. You will accept this person or not. But they hurt you. I'm hearing. You will definitely say to this person, you hurt me. So let's see. What is this message? I am confused. Is this real? Our connection is real. Are you real? Okay. So this person is still confusing and asking the question that, that you can be together or not. So you are safe with me, yeah. There's something about safety here. Definitely you, you told this person that you're safe with me or this person make you realize that you are safe only with this person. Are you, I definitely feel like you both are safe with each other. I don't know. This is like a safe connection here. This person is feeling crazy right now or they were crazy before. I'm also seeing this person is almost drinking. We have O, we have S. We have O. Okay, so double O and S. We have the fish. This could be talking about new beginning. This could be also talking about Pisces and one rising Venus. I see definitely this person really want a new beginning. Some of you, maybe you have a child and baby with this person. We have a house. Yeah. This could be this person on the house or you were living together. 
or maybe their friends while living with them or something happened, I don't know, but something happened with their friends or family. Fix a heart. Look at this bottle. So yeah, they're drinking. So we have this dragonfly. This person has a lot of passion for you. Now they're feeling it, but they are fucked up. They know it. They did not treat you well. We have this heart, little bit hard. So they're definitely feeling this love. Introvert, so they could be closed off emotionally. They were introvert or they were not ready for love that time when you were there. So we have this uh, transformation. They're going through transformation with the butterfly. I'm seeing five of wands. There's a competition. There's a lot of people here around this person again. I, I'm seeing a manipulators. I'm seeing a lot of people around this person is like giving them a wrong advices. Six of cups. They need to listen to themselves. Six of cups. Definitely someone from your past. Nine of swords. They are going crazy. They're obsessively thinking about you. I love one. So they know that you are the one. Or you make them realize that you are the only one. Yeah, they want to maybe marry with you or something. They really want to clear this karma with you. So we have this um, bat here. This person will come unexpectedly. You definitely have some spiritual connection with this person or awaken this person spiritually. This person is in a dog time. I'm seeing this dog born here. We also have this spider. So they're trapped in their own fears. They're trapped in their own thoughts. They need to come and talk to you, I feel here. So this is your reading. Give the thumbs and subscribe my channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, group number three, the people who choose this puppy. Let's see. I feel this person loves dog. This person loves animals. Um, this person, some of you, this person gives you a teddy bear as a gift or maybe give you a puppy, cat or kitten or puppy as a gift. I'm also seeing this person this person see you as a very cute like they when they see you they feel like you're cute okay yeah we have serendipity dating they want to date you girl so some of you you never dated this person this could be a crush for some of you are they crushing over you this is unexpected i feel that they never, they never dated these type of peoples like you you are definitely different from them i don't know what is this what does it mean you have to tell me in comments you're different from them. Security, yeah. They're insecure about that. Even though it's a security, but they're insecure about you. Material and spiritual prosperity. Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have number seven, Crown Chakra. Oh, God. Six, seven. Look at this. Oh, wow. Wow. It's never happened. Six, seven, eight. So, trapped in fear. This person has a lot of fears and insecurity about you girls and boys, whoever you're watching this. It's up to you. Soulmate. Ah. Ah. How sweet. Yes, this is your soulmate. This could be the one. They know that. They know that. Confident. We have ashamed. We have the chaser. We have healing heart. We have step out of your comfort zone, not know it. And we have universal heart. Look at this guy. Look at this. Look at this guy. This person has a very beautiful eyes. Once you will, you know, see this person, you will focus on this person's eyes. There's something about this person's magnetic eyes. I'm also seeing this person has almond eyes. Whatever the color is, I definitely feel light color of eyes, especially brown. Light brown. There's something about this person's eyes is light. There's something here. I don't know. This person definitely. Look at this. Something is coming from this person's eyes. It's not, it's not tears for, I mean, look at this. Some of you, this person literally looks like this, literally nose, eye, lips, shapes and eyes and everything all. And maybe this person has a long hair or this forehead. This person is looking at you also. I'm saying here on social media or something. I don't know. You and this person eyes, their eyes on you, but they're not speaking. <laughs> um, I feel this person knows because we have the crown chakra and soulmate. You may be past life lovers, past life soulmates. This person knows that you have some connection with each other, but they, they don't know what it, what it is. So some of you, you already maybe dated with this person. You saw this person as your soulmate, but this person does not treated you well. Some of you, you have been chasing this person for a long time. And you're healing your heart now, especially if you're a feminine. 
you chase this person and you're healing your heart now because you stopped chasing maybe. This person is trapped in the fear. They don't know what to do with you and with the situation. They, 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 they can't understand what is this happening with them. Why they're feeling this, this, this attraction towards you. Why they feel like you are the one. This is what I'm hearing from this person energy. I'm trapping in this person energy, okay? The way they are thinking and feeling about you, they don't know why you are the one. Even though you are the one, this could be the one universe is telling them, you are soulmates. You maybe, I don't know why I'm getting past life soulmates. Like you have some type of connection with this person. You both are thinking about each other like why this person is the one. Why I can't let go of this person in my mind and thinking about this person. Some of you, this person definitely, you chase this person. And this person did not treated you well. And now they're ashamed maybe to come back to you. Because I feel... Now they realize that you are the one. Universal heart. This person is a humanitarian. Life path number nine. I'm hearing. Life path number nine are seven or five. Like odd number. We have, yeah, five, seven, eight. Or maybe three. Um, whatever. They're, they're humanitarian. I told you they love animals. They love peoples. This person is a humanitarian. Whatever they do, I don't know. They, they are healer. They're healer. They're healer by, you know, universe give them, I don't know, they know it or not, but universe give them this, this, uh, this skill, this ability. It's like their natural blessing is their healer. They know it or not, I don't know. Their, their energy, their presence is a healing for a lot of people. Because for you, it's also. That's why you just drawn to this person. But this person is feeling right now for you like you are the one and you are the soulmate and they don't know why. They're observing, they're deep in deep introspection for you. If you already dealt with this person, this person did not treat you well because they are trapped in their fear about their insecurity because we have the confident. This person is really confident. I also, I'm, I'm also hearing this person love water and around the water. Like they're a swimmer. Dare, devil, dare devils I'm hearing. Like they do the things that people just only think about it. Again, there's a lot of blue here. So I'm seeing a water sign strongly. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Get out of your comfort zone. So you may be from different culture or religion. It's a comfort zone. Like this person will take you out of your comfort zone. Or they may be right now trapped in their own comfort zone. And you are something, I told you, you are something different. They never experience this type of love. They never experience like or thought about it like they will fall in love with someone like you. Or you thought maybe like you will fall in love with someone like them. I don't know, but there's something about serendipity here. It's, it's unexpected. It's a, it's a blessing. And discuss, or this could be, universe is playing the role here to bring you guys together. It's a destiny here. Something about their destiny here, like you are soulmates. And you both, I, I feel that you both maybe know it, like this is the one. I'm also getting some of you, maybe this person is in a relationship, or you may be in a relationship with someone else. And when you see each other, you feel like, why this person is the one? Why I feel drawn to this person, even though I don't have interaction or I don't feel... There's something here about this person is feeling like they never met you, they never saw you, or they never interacted with you, then why you are the one? Why you are their soulmate? Or maybe you feel this same way. Maybe this is a long distance. Maybe you never met each other. It's up to you, because this person really want to date you, and they will. They're coming. They really want to date you. They really want to see, to see you in physical. They want to see you because... But remember, this person's security is first. Once they will trust you because they're trapped in their own fear and they're not telling anyone, then they will communicate with you. Again, with the seven crown chakra, it's a spiritual. I'm seeing, look at this lot of purple. So it's a, it's a divine. It's a divine connection here. Something from past, I don't know. I'm seeing, hearing again and again. So material, maybe this person has a lot of money or very abundant, very successful. Um, or maybe they have a big house or something. I don't know. This is something about this person is insecure about their money, finances. So maybe that's why this person is judging you. Like you really interested in this person or you just want to get their money. Or maybe this person treated you not well because they felt like maybe you are just coming to this person only for money. Security is first for this person. Then they will open up. I'm also getting this person never committed or never settled down for some of you. They never settle down. They are free spirited, like they don't want to. I'm, I'm also getting Aquarius vibe from this person. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. There's something about you like they feel like you're same. I don't know. 
but you're different. This person has beard on their face for some of you. Uh, I'm hearing they have a long hair for some of you. This person also has a scare, a scare on their head, okay, like on, on forehead. Something on their face, like scare. Scare on their face, like you, you they're very, this is very noticeable. Wow, Tower Reverse here. Yeah, they don't want to get into this relationship. Disaster. Tower Reverse, they're trying to prevent this. They're trying to not interact with you. They have insecurities with the Tower. Some of you, this could be Tower movement already happened in their life, like with someone else. That's why they have insecurity. Seven of Swords, yeah, someone cheated onto them. They don't trust anyone. I feel they have trust issues, honey, in love. But there's something about you is attracting them and they want to date you. They want to be with you. And they don't know why. That's why they're trapped in their fear. Seven of Swords. Justice. Libra. But they will. Eventually they want balance with you. They want to talk with you. If this is someone that ran away from you, they, they, they were deceptive, they were cheated onto you or something. But I don't see cheating here. I'm seeing this person was running away from you. It's a chaser here that you were chasing this person or they were chasing you or something. Now it's just it's a balance. Judgment and we have four of wands. Wow, really? It's a twin flame connection maybe? Wheel of Fortune. So Scorpio, Libra, Sagittarius. We have four of wands. Lot of, so this could be, they want to marry you. Oh my goodness. Or you will get married with this person. It could be this person is married with someone else. But with you, it's like you are their soulmate. I don't know. Something is very different about this connection here, serendipity. But they're not happy in that marriage. So four of wands, judgment and justice. This person definitely sees something with you. Again, judgment, justice and four of wands. You may be married in the past life together. Yeah, that's why it's very familiar. It's really real. Like you, you don't know why this attraction is happening. You definitely have some past life connection with this person. You were married to this person or you were soulmates. Yes, there's something about the past life here. Let's see what this person message to you. Okay, we have, please don't worry about our future. Let's have fun in present moments. Yeah, this person really want to know you because they feel like there's something about us. Can we be together as friends? Yeah, they could be married or with someone else. But they want to be with you and they don't know why it's odd it's it's awkward right i want to tell you how much i adore you i love you i miss you but but yes there's something here i realize now i messed up everything hmm. so they push you away for some of you listen to your heart i feel the same passion for you okay so you both are feeling this will you marry me I wish I could treat you better. You deserve more. Okay, so this person is regretting the past if something happened with them. Okay, so we have H, we have E, um, we have I. So you could be Cancer and Pisces couple also, water sign. Does not have to be. This person loves swimming or loved around the water. We have O. H O E, <laughs> martyr, <laughs> formula. So we have the ring. This person really want to commit to you, or want to marry you. I don't know. This person feel like there's something here with you. Yeah, unicorn, magical. There's something about you like this person does not know. They're just getting, thinking about you at night. This is a psychic connection. You may be feeling it too with this person. We have this money, so this person has insecurity about their money. They maybe have a lot of money. Wealthy, we are fearless. Yeah, this person is fearless. They don't care about the world. So we have this piano. So something with the piano here. We have this this here. So I definitely feel there's some... This person has a very strong family traditions. We have the lock. This person is closed off. But they really see that you have the key. Of this person's heart. This person's heart is closed. They never felt in this way. They're not also not revealing their feelings. We have the butterfly transformation. We have the five of swords and we have the three of wands. This person is really conflicted, honey. We have the spider, so they're trapped in their fears. They're trapped, thinking, 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 and they don't know the answer. 
crown chakra again we have the the crab again two cancers so maybe you both are cancers you have this heart here so this person <laughs> feeling it this person feeling it but they don't know why we have this um what is this called i don't know this is <sighs> this person found you very very attractive but this like you're different but you're familiar to this person so moon it's a psychic connection please trust your intuition about this person they really want to be with you no matter what they will they will approach you okay so yeah this is your reading give the thumbs up i will see you in the next video bye